Thank you for choosing iHealth Check Me Save. In this video, we'll show you how to collect your blood sample like a pro. To make the sample collection process as smooth as possible, please carefully watch the entire video or read the instruction sheet before collecting your blood sample. First things first, activate your kit at iHealthCheckMeSafe.com and schedule a FedEx return by locating a FedEx ship center or arranging a pickup. It's crucial that you ship your sample on the same day of collection between Monday and Thursday. Steer clear of public holidays to avoid any shipping delays. Next, fill out the label on the biohazard bag. To improve circulation, drink a large glass of water about half an hour before collecting the sample. Find a table and clean the surface. It would be helpful to have all the components neatly laid out. Twist off the collection tube cap and keep it by the box. Place the tube inside the hole on the box insert, making sure that the 600 microliter line remains visible. Now, let's get your blood flowing by rinsing your hands under very warm water for two to three minutes. Shake your hands at your sides for about 20 seconds, which is about twice the length of the happy birthday song, as we all know by now. While your hands are still warm, choose a finger to pierce. The middle or ring finger of your non-dominant hand is best. Massage the finger from the root to the tip several times. Clean the fleshy area slightly off the center of the finger pad with an alcohol pad and let it air dry for a few seconds. Take a lancet and remove the cap. All right, here comes the part we've all been dreading. We know it sounds scary. We've all done it dozens of times here at iHealth Labs. That's why we're here to hold your hand through the process, however long it might take. Now, take a slow breath and think of something that makes you happy, like a vacation, a cute puppy, or winning the lottery. While the brain is distracted, press the lancet firmly against the chosen finger until the needle ejects with a click. We'll count you down from three. Three, two, one. If you're anything like us, you probably didn't go for it on the first try. And that's okay. Just go back 20 seconds and we'll count you down again. Once the finger is pricked, wipe away the first drop of blood with a non-adherent pad. Point your finger down toward the tube opening. Massage it from the root to the last joint, avoiding the pierced area. As new drops of blood come out of your finger, tap them against the inside of the tube. Continue to collect blood until the tube is filled slightly over the 600 microliter line. If blood flow stops and more is needed, prick a different finger with a new lancet. Avoid using the pinkies if possible. Yes, it's a lot of blood, we know. We promise it's still a lot less than the blood drawn at a lab. Not to mention the need to talk to your doctor, make an appointment, drive to the clinic, find parking, wait in line, check in, fill out some forms, get your blood drawn, and potentially run into someone you don't want to see. The whole process could take up to weeks. Where were we? Oh yeah, once you have collected enough blood, apply a bandage and press the cap of the tube all the way down onto the tube until it clicks. Take out the tube and gently turn it upside down 10 times to fully mix the sample. Insert the tube into the biohazard bag and seal it securely by folding it down along the opening. Put the bag in the box for safe transportation. Congrats on finishing the sample collection process. Be sure to use the checklist to double check everything or the lab might not be able to process your sample. Now, ship the sample back to us in the return envelope on the same day of collection. Sit back, relax, and wait for the results to come in. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact our dedicated customer service team. iHealth, empowering healthier lives.